Breaking news. It's happening. Federal High Court has asked INEC to delist the APC presidential candidate Ashiwaju Amebola Tinubu over forgery or certificates. Hello, my wonderful people. Um, there's a kind of, you know, something not right going on. And APC is in the eye of the storm, especially its presidential candidate Ashiwaju Amebola Tinubu whom, you know, has continued to tell the people that, you know, he has no primary or he cannot, lay, not that he does not have, he cannot lay hands on his primary and secondary school certificate as a result that he cannot find it. Uh, this is all coming in the heels that um, he said he went on self exile at some point and by the time he returned, these documents were missing. Let's get all the details. A federal high court has asked INEC to delist APC Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu presidential candidate from the presidential election for 2023 over forgery. The Action Alliance AA party has asked a federal high court in Abuja to stop the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, from including the name of the All Progressive Congress APC presidential candidate, Senator Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, on the ballot box for the 2023 presidential election. The platform in the suit, filed by its lawyer, Uke Okuria, predicted his request on the claim that both the APC and his presidential candidate, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, are not qualified to participate in the 2023 presidential election, following the allegation of forgery committed by Tinubu in 1999. He claimed that Tinubu forged his University of Chicago certificate in, he submitted in 1999 in an aid of his qualification, to aid his qualification for the form he submitted then. The governorship election in Lagos State, which he won, and therefore he is not qualified to participate in the presidential election because he has given two different information to the same INEC. The portrait further claimed that the matter of false information by Tinubu was once reported to the Inspector General of Police and the Lagos State House of Assembly, wherein the letter set up a committee which in its report on a two-page said the governor of Lagos State is evidence by admitting his full responsibility to some of the needless errors in his in being appointed in a recent publication which formed the, ba the base for the allegation against him the allegation the information he gave then when the house probed him he said he was responsible and apologized for wrong information again this is coming the party therefore prayed the court to declare that Tinubu's claim that he is that he attended government college Ibadan and League and University of Chicago on his INEC form C9001 in 1999, which he presented to INEC, is false. The same person now cannot find the same certificate which he once presented, where he said he attended primary and secondary school in Ibadan. This is all forgery and the uh, Punishment for this is for him to be delisted. The party also wants an order of petition injunction restricting INEC from publishing the name of Ashiwaja Ahmed Bola Tinubu, the candidate of the All Progressive Congress in the 2023 presidential election. The AA pray for another order to perpetrate injunction, injunction restricting INEC from listing APC as a political party on the ballot box for the 2023 presidential election election. No date has been fixed for the hearing which was instigated this morning. So this is what is happening right now, my wonderful people. Um, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinobo is in the eye of the storm over certificate forgery saga, which we have continuously brought you up to speed over. Now, this matter is becoming a real, you know, a real uh, issue for Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinobo. And um, it is important that Nigerians are intimated and aware of all that is currently on ground. Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinobo, you know, um, has been governor before and the information he provided then with what he's providing now are contradictory 
in law that is called for forgery. I mean, what what did they call them? So it, it it's forgery or whatever. And so it, it shows that Tinubu is not consistent. There is lies somewhere, and uh, somebody who is to be a leader should not have those uh, kind of lapses here and there. Back in twenty in twenty in nineteen ninety nine, he said, you know, he went to primary and secondary school in Ibadan and produced those certificates there. The reason right now he cannot produce the same certificate is that he said, you know, um, he went on self exile from 1994 to 1999. And by the time he returned, his certificates were missing. Yes. But guess what? The same man has told Nigerians that, you know, he, the same person has told Nigerians that he, 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 he cannot find them and he is not, uh, he did not go to that school. So, I mean, who is deceiving who here? So there's something seriously not right ongoing with the whole Tenobos education. Some says because his name, uh, in his, the name he was, uh, he was, you know, he was, he was bearing then and his state of origin are quite different to what he's bearing now. Hence, he's keeping it low and does not want to say anything. And would rather, you know, we don't understand all these things going on. So there is real issues on ground. So these are the, you know, these are the real issues happening, you know, and why Nigerians are watching. Okay. It is, it is really a serious matter. Okay. It is really a serious matter. So it, it, whether Tinubu or his running mates and all that, both of them have this certificate issue. Both of them can't find their certificate. All of a sudden, the certificate has grown wings and has flown into the thin air, you know, and... That's why Nigerians are wondering and are asking what exactly is going on. Okay, the certificate is it's 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 it's, cru it's crucial. Okay, it's crucial that we, we all get this, you know, get it, you know, we get we get this matter settled. These are the people who want to be leaders. But what are they leading? What are they really leading? Okay, they can't find their certificate. All of a sudden the certificate has grown wings, it's flown. And, um, you know, nobody can find it. So it is what it is. And why we all must rise to the occasion and refuse to allow certain people who do not mean the country well to become leaders. Because, you know, uh, they will judge, you know, they will judge based on their, on, on, you know, on their myopic sense of, you know, position rather than from a broader perspective. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. Bye for now.